At first, let's have a look at the main features. Firstly, applying the H-Matic transmission system, sports mode can be used. Secondly, sub-ROM unit is installed at valve body so that the shifting control can be optimized. Thirdly, the inhibitor switch is applied with the sliding type, not the rotary type. Therefore, TCM directly controls the starter relay and the backup lamp relay. Fourth, variable force solenoid valve is applied to control the full line pressure variably. Fifth, valve body has accumulators. Two NR accumulators are installed at the lower valve body and one ND accumulator is installed at upper valve body. Finally, when sports mode is selected during D-range fifth gear driving status, it will automatically downshift to fourth gear to reflect the driver's accelerating intention in advance. Now, as to main specification. The max permissible torque is 45 kilogram meters. The driving wheel is rear type 5 speed automatic transmission and the gear ratio of each speed is as shown in the table. The planetary gear is the simple planetary gear comprising three set of front, middle and rear planetary gear. For endurance, five pinion gears are included. Engine stall speed is about 2500 RPM. There are three clutches. They are input clutch, high and low reverse clutch, and direct clutch. There are four brakes. They are front brake, reverse brake, forward brake, and low cost brake. There are three one-way clutches, including first one-way clutch, third one-way clutch, and forward one-way clutch. There are seven solenoid valves. There are six VFS solenoids and one on-off solenoid. The transmission oil is red one, of which replacing period is same with conventional one. In the torque converter, a damper clutch is installed. To cope with the higher torque from the engine, a multiple disc type damper clutch is applied. Using the cross-sectional drawing, let's see the position of components. Here are the input clutch, which is being operated at forward fourth and fifth gear. The high and low reverse clutch is operated at all range except second gear. The direct clutch operating at second, third and fourth gear. The reverse brake operating at reverse range. The front brake operating at all range except fourth gear the low-cost brake operating at first, second gear of sports mode, the forward brake operating at all forward ranges, and the forward one-way, first one-way, and third one-way clutches limiting the sun gear of each planetary to rotate in one direction. Next, operating element table of each shift range. The operating element in circle mark is as the actual element and transmits the driving force. The operating element in triangle mark transmits the hydraulic force but does not make effect to transmission of driving force. The high and low reverse clutch releases its pressure as soon as the wheel is starting to rotate at D-range first gear. The low cost brake operates only at the sports mode first and second gear. It makes pressure as soon as the wheel is starting to rotate at the sports mode first gear. Let's see appearance of transmission case. There is an adjusting screw. This is for adjusting the band gap of the front brake. The adjusting screw is adjusted exactly in the production line. After that, it is fixed by Loctite when it is supplied. At the transmission housing, there was a hydraulic port for measuring the hydraulic pressure. At the rear side of transmission, there are the direct clutch hydraulic pressure measuring plug and the low cost brake and forward brake hydraulic pressure measuring plug. 
At the right side, there is the front brake hydraulic pressure measuring plug. Then, let's see the input and output elements. For the input elements, there are the service power and ignition on power, the inhibitor switch, sub-ROM unit, hydraulic pressure switch, turbine speed sensor 1 and 2, output shaft speed sensor, oil temperature sensor 1 and 2, sports mode switch, stop lamp switch, and CAN communication data. The inhibitor switch detects the shift level position by the combination of on-off signals of five terminals in the switch using sliding operation. The inhibitor 3 monitor terminal is the monitoring terminal for detecting the broken circuit of number 3 terminal. Let's see the sensor output of scanner. You can see that according to the position of the shift lever, the inhibitor switch is changed in on and off. The sub-ROM unit performs the communication with TCM. When the ignition key is turned to on at first on the manufacturing line, the TCM reads the hydraulic information saved in the sub-ROM. The communication between the sub-ROM and the TCM consists of four lines, including the data bit cell 1, cell 2, and cell 3. Cell 1, 2, and 3 have the double function. At sub-ROM communication, the cell 1 is used for check sum signal, the cell 2 is used for system clock signal, and the cell 3 is used for data input signal. When it is not in communication mode, they are used for the hydraulic switch signal. There are five hydraulic switches installed at the valve body. They are attached to the front brake, low cost brake, input clutch, direct clutch, and high and low reverse clutch. Let's see the sensor output of scanner. You can see that the hydraulic switch is turned to on when the hydraulic force is applied to the operating element at each shift range. The turbine speed sensor 1 and 2 is the Hall IC type. At valve body, two sensors are installed as one unit. One is the turbine speed sensor 1 for determining the RPM of the front brake drum. The other, turbine speed sensor 2, is for detecting the RPM of the rear annulus gear. The reason why there are two turbine speed sensors is that the RPM of the input shaft cannot be directly detected by the structure of transmission. The output shaft speed sensor detects the RPM of the output shaft. For the sensor output, you can see that the turbine speed sensor 1 is output just at 4th gear because the front brake is released at the 4th gear. There are two NTC type thermistors for the oil temperature sensor. The oil temperature sensor 1 is installed in the inhibitor switch for measuring the temperature inside of the oil pan. The oil temperature sensor 2 is installed at the upper side of the valve body and used for detecting oil temperature at torque converter outlet and for controlling the shifting pattern at high temperature of oil. Let's see the sensor output of the scanner. The temperature of oil temperature sensor 2 is higher than that of oil temperature sensor 1. TCM is installed at the lower parts of driver's seat A pillar. As to output elements, for the output element, there are solenoid valves, start relay, backup lamp relay, shift lever position, gear position, and self-diagnosis. The VFS solenoid valve has two types, including normal high and normal low. The normal high is the type in which hydraulic pressure is formed when electric current is not applied. There are direct clutch solenoid, input clutch solenoid, and high and low reverse clutch solenoid. The coil resistance is about 6.1 plus or minus 0.5 ohm. 
The normal low is the type in which hydraulic pressure is formed when electric current is applied. There are line pressure solenoid, lock-up clutch solenoid, and front brake solenoid. The coil resistance is 6.1 plus or minus 0.5 ohm like the normal high. The solenoid valve for on-off control is the low-cost brake solenoid valve having 12.9 plus or minus 0.6 ohms of coil resistance. TCM controls the start relay and backup lamp relay directly. The installation position is like that. The start relay is installed at the engine room junction box and the backup lamp relay is installed at the rear side of passenger compartment junction box. You can check if the backup lamp relay is normally operating through the actuator test. It outputs the shift range and gear position to the cluster. The operation of the shift lever position output can be checked by actuator test. Finally, there is diagnosis line for the communication with a scanner. Sub-ROM unit is the most important feature of A5SR2 model. It is assembled with the valve body as one unit and installed. Sub-ROM unit stores the information about the hydraulic pressure difference between solenoid valve and valve body unit. At hydraulic pressure control of TCM, it compensates the hydraulic pressure difference to enhance the stability of hydraulic pressure and the shifting feeling. Among the self-diagnosing function of scanner, there is TCM SubROM reset function. This function is for deleting the SubROM data read by TCM and read it again. Let's study when SubROM and leaning should be initialized. At first, when automatic transmission is replaced. Secondly, when old TCM is moved to another vehicle. And finally, after conducting TCM reprogramming. When TCM is replaced with new one, if the ignition switch is on at P range of shift lever, the new TCM reads sub-ROM data automatically. At this time, the P lamp of shift lever in the cluster is turned out for two seconds. How to delete the sub-ROM data of old TCM is like that. The condition for deleting the sub-ROM data is the ignition key on, engine stop, shift lever at R range and throttle 50%. Under the above condition, using the scanner, you can delete sub-ROM data. After that, at shift lever P range, turn off the ignition key and then on. Then the TCM reads the hydraulic pressure information from the sub-ROM unit again. When the sub-ROM unit was deleted using scanner, you should drive the vehicle for transmission learning because the clutch hydraulic pressure information learned by TCM was also deleted when the sub-ROM data was deleted. How to perform the transmission learning drive is as follows. ATF temperature should be higher than 20 degrees Celsius. The accelerator pedal should be maintained at 12.5%, about 1 over 8 level. You should perform the shifting from first gear to fifth gear of D range with four times at least.